Welcome to this safety training, based in part on the National Safety Standard developed by Federal OSHA with a focus on the OSHA standard that applies to all the construction trades, Standard 1926. The class also incorporates the recommendations of the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, as well as recommendations from industry and nonprofit organization safety experts. The construction trades face unique safety issues. Working from heights is common. Reaching to perform tasks, straining to hold, disassemble or construct, power tools, and job sites that can change configuration daily. There is the potential exposure to extreme heat and cold when working, unsanitary conditions, hazardous chemicals or contaminants, risk of electric shocks or gas leaks. All these and more are almost daily perils in the construction trades. It makes sense, both on a personal and professional level, to try to mitigate these risks. For one thing, it's expensive and disruptive to a business when there are workplace injuries or illnesses. Certainly, you don't want to be injured or see it happen to a coworker or employee. It's clear that safety education and efforts to enhance workplace safety pay enormous dividends. For example, from the time OSHA was created in 1970 through to 2012, injuries and work-related illnesses decreased from about 12 per 100 to just over 3 per 100 full-time workers. Even more significant, Workplace deaths declined from 38 a day to 12 a day, despite the workforce doubling in size during that time. By the way, the leading industry for workplace deaths at the present time is construction. This class is based on OSHA regulations and recommendations intended to foster safer workplaces for tradesmen crafted by OSHA and by other government agencies, like NIOSH and the EPA. It will also incorporate the recommendations of safety experts from private and nonprofit organizations. We'll look at the main risks workers are exposed to in a typical job environment and the ways to mitigate or avoid those risks for you, your co-workers, and for the public. We've come a long way toward enhanced worker safety and consumer protection, but we can do better. If you have a business, this class will help you craft and enforce better workplace safety and consumer protection. If you work for a building, electrical, plumbing, or HVAC company, it will help you foster safer workplace habits for a longer and more satisfying career. We'll begin with a review of OSHA, followed by a presentation of the safety responsibilities of employees and employers. The second portion will present a survey of some of the most common safety hazards for the construction trades on all types of job sites, along with instructions on how to avoid these hazards or to care for those injured as a result of them. The third segment is derived most closely from OSHA Standard 1926 and focuses on risks and safety methods that apply in construction sites, where typically the most serious accidents occur. The final portion of the class provides a solid grounding in safe workplace practices, as well as a review of EPA guidelines for dealing with specific contaminants that are common on job sites. <music>